Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Sorry I was away for a little bit. I went away on vacation and then I just kind of uh, ran into some issues whenever we got back. But we're back now with episodes. Um, in between episodes, uh, we of course did some rolling and I lost the footage again. So we have acquired a Bennett, arguably the most important character in the game. C0, sadly, so we need to get that C1 eventually. And we also got a a stringless, so our future official might be using this. So that's good as well. We got two good things out of that. Um, so last episode we finished the Danesleaf arc. We're here, over here screwing around with Danesleaf. Um, so now we're going back to Leeway, or to, yeah, Leeway to do the pre-Inazuma arc. Um, we still have to collect all the geoculus, so I'll probably do that in an episode relatively soon, but we are on a little bit of a time crunch because we have, uh, where is it? We have 15 days left to do this event, and we want to do this event because we need this free official. She's, uh, she's really important to us. So, let's get it, this story started. All right, so after a short talk with Paimon, we've decided that we need to continue our journey. So our next stop is Inazuma, so we're going to go ask somebody uh, if we can, how to figure out how we can get to Inazuma since, uh, you know, it's locked down right now and there's uh, there's no way for us to get in. Man, it must stink being a new player. <laughs> I'm slowly realizing this the more I play this series is this game is not, the new player experience of this game is not great. It's good, but it's definitely one of those things that's like, you, if you look at one of these events, right, and you're like, oh man, well, some of these are fine, like this one's fine, but like, you know, this big event here, and you're like, oh man, I really would like to, you know, do this, and it's like, well, you need to do this whole story, this whole story, the in-between pre-quest with Danesleaf, Danesleaf's in-between, um, Archon quest, this in-between Archon quest we're on, and then I think you can do it then, but... There's a, there's a chance that we might even have to do Inazuma first, which is what I'm absolutely terrified with. But anyway, let's see if this chick knows how to get to Inazuma. Alright, we've made the decision that we need to go and talk to Beto, see if she'll take us um, over to Inazuma. I've actually never been to that part of the map because I haven't done the uh, hunting for all the Geoculus yet. I also haven't started fishing. The Storm Terror Mountains, or whatever. And Sumeru is right around the corner, so... Yeah... I'm not sure about this. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about Sumeru, because it looks like... Originally I was thinking, oh, I'd make it, but... Even if... Like, looking at the pace of, you know, episodes and, like, me not wanting to rush anything... Um... Or at least... Inazuma is probably at least six, seven episodes. This event for the Archipelago is probably another four, one frame person, basically. Actually, plus the intro, so... Five episodes there. Um, and then there's a chasm story that I think we might have to do. And then we also have... And Kaneomiya, the two extra islands in Inazuma, um, the Dragon Spine Mountains, uh, and then we have like what something like eleven or twelve characters story quests as well to do. Um, so yeah, the, the the TLDR I'm getting to is I'm slowly realizing yeah I'm not going to be doing Inazuma or I'm not going to be doing Sumeru uh, on this account on launch. Um, there's a chance I might post a playthrough on one of my other accounts, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking that one through right now, whether I actually want to do that or whether I just want to leave it as, uh, only this account. But I'm thinking at the moment that I will possibly, uh, be posting me doing the sooner request line on one of my other accounts, although... That count still has stuff to do actually too, Dodge so this. not necessarily out of the woods um, with that one either. So 
Yeah, we're probably just gonna be getting this sooner or later. Uh, we probably, you know, we'll have plenty of time to do it once the updates uh, slow down. But we just have a lot of content to catch up and get through. But once we get that, uh, we should be good. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's the play. Uh, I will be streaming though, Sumeru. Probably not the day it launches. I'm probably gonna delay a day or two. You know, let all the big people get through it and then stream. Um, but I'll probably be streaming that a day or two after the Sumeru launch. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can go uh, check over to my Twitch. Uh, probably. Generally, I like to stream around uh, 2 or 3 in the afternoon, so East Coast, so around that time, if you just drop by, the link is in the description, just check on it. Uh, we might be doing the Sumer story if you're interested in coming by, or if not, you can obviously just wait for the, the episode to come out where we're going to do it. But I am going to stop rambling, and I am going to make my way over to the ship, and I will see you when I get there. You know what? Uh... I'll be honest, I've decided to kind of slightly turn this into a rambling video because I kind of do want to talk a little bit about the future plans and what's going to be going on. Um, and I do actually got to, like, get through uh, some of these areas. Start getting through some of these areas before Sumer comes out. So just give me a second, I'm going to mark the Oculus, and then I'll be right back. Alright, that's good, we're back. Yeah, so I just wanted to talk really briefly. Uh, so as I was talking about those plans, I realized, man, I have a lot to catch up because my main account isn't even completely through stuff. It's still got Chasm stuff to do. My alt has Inconiomia, Chasm, two of the islands on the Inazuma, um, Archipelago to finish. And this account has all the stuff that I previously mentioned as well to finish. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to commit to streaming more. I'm going to commit to streaming more most days. Um, we'll be around just hanging out, doing whatever uh, on one of those accounts, on any of these accounts. I'm not sure which one. Obviously, it'll be different depending on the day. Um, but if you want to stop by, uh, we'll probably be starting around 2 or 3 Eastern uh, Center Time is still the plan. So... If you're just in dropping by and just hanging out, uh, feel free to. Man, it is so nice to have Kazuha. <laughs> I can't wait till we can level him. Uh, some other not necessarily as important things, but, you know, kind of. Originally, you know, this series has started as uh, a way to also, like, help new players or see kind of what the new player experience of. And I'm, I'm kind of running into the issue that, like, I honestly feel kind of weak. I think this, like, I definitely felt this with my other accounts too. This, like, between AR 40 and 45 slog is kind of rough. Um, because at 45 is when you get access to perma gold artifacts from domains. So you really don't want to be doing domain, artifact domains before that. But because you're not doing artifact domains before that, your characters and teams are a lot weaker than they could be. So it's actually kind of a struggle to do some uh, to do some of the content. It's not like hard, but it's definitely one of those things where I feel like, wow, I don't I don't do the damn I'm used to doing. I'm used to like absolutely blasting stuff, right? Because I normally play on my main account or on uh, on two accounts that are you know very much end game and farmed up accounts. So definitely in this in this pre-interim, I'd say just kind of tough it out until you can get to the AR-45 and start getting those artifacts. But one of the things I never thought about uh, until recently, looking at that was, oh, how on earth am I going to do... Where's that up there? It's a fire. Um, how on earth am I actually going to do the artifact domains? Because I don't necessarily just want to co-op queue them. Because, like, you know, just saying the, the way to do these domains while you're low is just to co-op queue them is kind of a cop-out. Um, at least in my opinion, it's kind of a cop-out. Just to say like, oh yeah, just do them and co-op, but, you know, it's not really fixing the issue. The issue is the character too weak. The issue shouldn't, and so we shouldn't be fixing it by just trying to co-op and let other people carry us through it, so I think kind of what I've decided is to take, um, is to really just think about which route I want to go with my artifacts. So I think the first goal is going to be to get 
Well, try to pre-45. Okay, this is uh, kind of a wish, so we'll see if this comes through. But pre-45, I want to have all the stuff farmed to make the characters I care about. My first main team, 70 of 80, as well as uh, get their weapons up to 80. So that's kind of the goal pre-45. I highly doubt we'll do that. Um, because that's actually, like, I'm not super far off 45 at the moment. I pick up 42. Yeah, we're 42. And it's only 12k, so it's, like, 6, 7 days. So I don't think per level. So I don't even think in, like, 20, 25 days worth of resin and farming and dailies. I don't think I'd be able to actually get enough stuff to complete everybody up to the point I want. So... That is something we're going to have to work on over time, too. I have to make sure everybody's 6-6, six, 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 or at least 6-6, six, six, uh, and then whoever's our auto attacker, probably Beto right now, has the 6 on our attack talents as well. Um, kind of another thing I'm looking at is that what order am I uh, going to do these domains in? So I'm just going to... I'm thinking that the first one I'm going to do, you know, it's not the best idea, is I'm thinking I'm going to do this one first get just whatever vv set i can for kazua a combination of uh probably golds and greens um or golds and purples sorry and then from there he should do enough damn and be useful enough that i should be able to go down here do this and then this set is for beto this two piece is for fischl um fodder most of my artifacts that i don't need into a no bless set for bennett um and then at some point go over here and get fischl a two-piece electro so that's kind of where we are right now eventually i'm gonna need something like three emblem sets and two vv sets so i'm kind of expecting to spend a while in those domains um But yeah, that's the tentative plan right now, is first to worry about Kazuo's artifacts, because, you know, they're... In Nemo characters' uh, artifacts, their, like, substats and stuff matter the least. You know, at least the EM scaling ones, because, you know, the only, the only stat Kazuo cares about, really, is EM and having a little bit of, like, ER, so... So as long as we can get him that EM and that ER, we should be good to go. Whereas, like, a character like Beto or, you know, anybody else, we want a wide array of good stats that could take a while to farm. That's also why I say I'm going to use uh, a split set of four and uh, five stars. I don't like investing into four star artifacts, really, to be completely honest with you. But I think in this situation of... Um, Stuff like EM, which is a rare stat, I think it's worth it. Actually, I'm kind of curious if we have... I think we actually have a... We need an EM goblet. That's kind of what we're looking for right now. Defense, if Defense, defense, attack. Cryo. Wait, cryo. Hey. Uh, do that. Yeah, so we're looking for, as soon as an EM one pops up in here, uh, we're going to be leveling that, no matter what set it's from, and even if it's a 4-star, and same thing with, uh, as we get these VV pieces. But we do have to, problem is, we do have to get to Inazuma to start upgrading Kazuma, so I'm a little worried that I might actually have to, like, not do that, just because, um... Yeah, obviously we need to get working towards this Fischl as well, so she is going to be taking up a bit of our time uh, as well. <laughs> so I'm not sure if we're going to get to Inazuma by the time we have the level to get the stuff we want. But we'll see. Another reason we want to invest in the Kazo is good knowledge as he hit hard on not only do we need him late game, but because of the way a Nemo characters scale. For anybody who doesn't know, there's two kinds of reactions in this game. There's um, transformative and multiplic mul multiplicative eh, reactions, but it's a fancy way of basically saying 
reactions that scale off stats like attack, crit, all that kind of stuff, and stuff that basically just scales off like level and EM. And Swirl is one of those that only scales off character level and EM. So we don't really, despite needing to pump resources into Kazuha to level him up and stuff like that, we don't necessarily need to um, get him like perfect artifacts and stuff like that. Like he just, he has an alright weapon for now. Ideally, I want a Favonius. Uh, we're going to give him, like, whatever freaking VV artifacts we can, and that'll be most of his power. We're not going to need much more from him. But yeah, I'm just, uh... Oh, man. Actually, I guess... Actually, yeah, yeah, we will stream. Because I, I was thinking for a second, wait a minute, I need to make videos on this, so why am I going to stream this account? But I think the plan is going to be we're just going to be playing through the story like this. And stream is going to mainly be uh, going around and collecting out the Geoculus. I think I'm probably going to do that tomorrow or something like that. And then starting Dragon Spine and all that kind of stuff, so... That's probably what we're going to do. Um, I'm just going to unlock this domain here, and then we're going to wait and make our way over to the ship real quick. All right, we've almost made it over to the Alcor. Let's see if Beto can help us on our way to Inazuma. I know this episode's been a little bit rambly, but we're probably going to, uh, you know, yeah, we got to get back a little bit on pace, on track. Let's see if these have collision. Man, they, so they added actually a teleport waypoint to this thing now once you get on it, but... Let me tell you, back in the day when you had to come over here for stuff and you had to actually, like, make this run every time, it was it was pretty annoying. So I'm, so, I'm pretty thankful they had it. Oh. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so, um... I've met myself. Actually, uh, b both of the two characters that I mainly use, actually. Um, what's up, fam? Because I've been in here for the family phone. But, um... Apparently... Uh, instead of, uh, you know, after discussing with Beto and being like, hey, can you take us to Ima and Zuma? And she's like, sure, but I want you to participate in my martial arts tournaments first. So, you know what? We're gonna go, we gotta go slap some fools. Um, you know, we, we, we killed a god. I don't know what, what chance rando, uh, rando people doing mere karate got versus us, but we're gonna grab this, uh, the old... Oculus that's up here that I think I may have messed up and used too much stamina to jump up, so we may be maybe no goo. It may not be goo. Yeah, it looks like we are going to just barely make it. Uh sorry, I mean planned all along. Yeah, totally planned all along. Man, I hate so I played this game for a tiny bit on mobile, right? I don't play on PC and Man, can I tell you, climbing and moving on mobile just feels so bad. This is not a mobile game. I refuse to believe. Oh, wow, you can actually see the Sakura tree from here. Oh, and the platform with a thundering, what's it called, thundering aberration. Oh, and the Orobashi. Yo, all that stuff is actually rendered in here. That's actually crazy. Wait, that's not where that stuff is, though. That stuff is down here. Right? Where am I? No, yeah, it is the right direction. Wow. I don't know. I don't know why I'm impressed that that's there. That seems like it'd be something that's, you know, it's just simply draw distance or whatever, but it's... It makes the world feel more alive. It makes it feel like it's one big world. Like, you can still see the, uh, the platform from, uh... You still see the platform from our uh, adventure into the Adepti realms over there. And stuff like that. And it just, I don't know, makes, makes the game feel good. Gives you the, the feels good, man. So uh, we are going to run over and enroll ourselves in this martial arts tournament. But I actually think we will call it and we're gonna start off uh, with the whole martials aren't uh, tournament arc next time around. So. Hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next one.